Hey, it's Juan for Pedals and Effects. I thought I would just talk about why I use two different gauge picks on tour. Um, I'm currently playing in Marilyn Manson's band. That's why you got the double M on these picks. So these are the heavier gauge ones. So Dunlop made me, they always make me my picks. They did in Mars Volta. Um, I have bought the Negro picks, Racer X picks, but these are my Marilyn Manson ones. Um, there's my JA tag. They both have it. I keep dropping picks. But the thing is, is that I use two different gauges. And so there's a reason why I do that. Two reasons. They sound different. And so that's going to, that's going to obviously, you know, figure into the equation. Also, because some things are easier to play with a thinner pick than a thicker. That, and is the other thing is, and I learned this from my uh, hand doctor, it actually takes a lot more muscle strength and you, you get fatigue quicker if you use thin picks than thicker. So sometimes like if I'm really like with Mars Volta, we play hella long sets. So then I would switch to the thicker picks just to relieve myself because you're pinching something very thin and it's like, you'll wear out. So then you flip to the thicker pick and it, it's easier to grip, it's easier to hold. So that those are multiple reasons why I have two. So what, like on my ants right now on tour, they're like this. So it'll be like, you know, a row of black and then a row of red. And so depending on the song, depending if I'm getting fatigued, you know, I'll flip between these two picks. So just so, you know, hopefully you'll hear the difference. I hear the difference. But here's the thick dude on just a standard jazz bass. So obviously also they're thicker. It's going to alter your technique a little. So it's going to sound different just for the sheer fact of that. Here's this one. So obviously you could do like quick stuff. And it'll be different with this dude. The other thing too, that like this one kind of hits your shoulder a little bit more too. So you kind of wear your shoulder out a little bit more. These are the things I think about when, as I get older, but anyway. this one especially when I record you really hear it too we'll flip through pick sizes sometimes and it makes enough of a difference in the track so sometimes I'll flip through all these dudes I'll flip through these dudes all these color-coded dudes and then flip through some of these and you know, these are just some of the picks that they make. They make metal ones, they make, you know, wood ones. They also make felt, which is really tight for bass because if you want like, like a little bit more finger sound and it, because it has more mass, like a felt pick or these thick guys, because they have more mass, it gets a little bit more low end, kind of like how your fingers, the difference between like playing like this and then like this. But, you know, that, when you throw more mass on, it just gives it a more fat rounder sound. And so the thicker picks tend to do that as well, but felt definitely does that. So go out, buy yourself a bunch of Dunlop picks, and you tell me if you can hear the difference.